everybody welcome back to the hobby lodge and you may have remembered actually it's the last video if you want to go and check it out but the guys over extreme rate sent me a mod kit to do a switch to make it look like a super nintendo uh, it's a really cool little kit and like i said i've done a whole video on it uh, which is the previous video to this one uh, where you can see how i go through and, and do the whole process but we're not here to talk about this kit no, because I saw on their website that I had two other kits I was really interested in. One was for the actual Switch dock, so the original dock that the machine comes with, and also for the Pro Controller to do exactly the same thing, to just mod them up so they look like they're from the Super Nintendo family. So I thought, why not reach out to them, see if they'd be up for me doing a follow-up, uh, and they were, and they sent me those two kits. So uh, yeah, I'm going to flip over now to the actual part where I put these together so you can see them and then when i come back i'll show you the end results all right see you in a sec as before i'm just going to talk over this video at high speed so yep removing the back there as you can see it's easy just to pop that off and then i'm taking the four screws out of this area here this square i used a pair of um, little tweezers here because some of the screws for me were quite hard to get hold of and the screws weren't magnetic at this point so again i'm now going to remove more screws from the outer casing then this whole back piece should then pop out fairly easy. There's no need for force here. Next piece, just take that ribbon cable out, flip the header up, take the ribbon cable out, and as you flip over the PCB, you can remove the power. And then just continue to remove the screws from this part of the case. I believe there's about five or six of them. Just go around, take them all out, and then the whole back piece should come away quite nicely. Now, I am using the screwdriver set that came with a kit, but if you have a, a precision tool kit with a better handle, you can use that. Uh, that bit was quite fast, but that's because all of those parts just slide out. So the actual cradle for the switch itself, and then the slide plate at the top and slides back in again, as you can see, and there goes the cradle back in. So there's no screws there whatsoever. Once you've taken out those main screws from the back, you're just literally lifting these pieces out and then sliding them back into the new frontage. Now this bit was fiddly, this bit here, well, I've kind of gone off camera a little bit is because I'm trying to feed that ribbon cable and power cable through the hole in that back piece and it was a bit fiddly so however you want to do that just you know I'm trying to do it on camera obviously that was difficult uh, but just just poke those through the hole so it comes out the other side then you can screw this back piece back in again and then you're ready to replace the PCB obviously I'm going to plug in the power first and then the actual data cable but here we go, just plugging in the power, flipping it over, just dropping it in place. It just clips with those two little clips on the side. And then I'm going to just make sure that's in and then put the clip down. And then we're on to the back piece. As before, just going around here, putting all the screws back in again. And it's a really simple modification. Okay, now onto the Pro Controller, which is a little bit more difficult. Again, in the K in the box, you're going to get everything you need. The screwdrivers, the screws, the buttons, the whole lot. I am actually still sticking with those screwdrivers. I do later on grab my own precision tool set because I just find the handles on these, for someone with large hands, I do find the handles a little bit hard to work with. So, uh, for the most part, worked absolutely fine. So here, we just move the screws from the bottom and from around the edging so that we can keep taking each layer off. Obviously, just pop the battery out as well. So we're going to take this back piece off here and this exposes the next layer of the switch of the switch controller work your way around and then that's the one connection point i removed the data cable just there you see that sort of bottom right hand corner you can see where i removed the data cable which connects obviously the switch pcb back to the buttons here taking out all the screws now this is one screw where i did have a problem so i have kind of come away here and um grabbed another screwdriver to sort of fix that bit i'm just trying to find the right screw here and i kind of like to leave this stuff in just because i could edit it out but ultimately you want to see the whole process i'm going through because i'm no expert here and uh, yeah sometimes things don't work and you have to go and grab another tool or try something else so here we've removed all of the membranes and all of the buttons and we're going to put all the buttons back into the new shell this bit's probably the bit that took me the longest purely because maybe i should have laid out the buttons better but it was quite fiddly to work out which buttons went where because i just don't remember quite easily um, but the nice thing is they're all shaped so once you kind of get the gist of it they can only go in one way so you're not going to get it wrong um, and then i'm just going to go back around and replace all of the membranes on the back so everything is in place and secure 
and I just realized that actually one of the membranes was still on the actual board it's stuck to the other side but once I put that in that's quite easy so now screw in the first PCB in place with the buttons on again I just switched to my other screwdriver just because some of these screws were I was getting I was having difficulty getting some of these screws back in again but it's just the reality of doing it you know big fingers little tiny screws it's not always easy to do so yeah you'll, you'll get around it no problems reconnect the PCB using that little data cable so use a pair of little pair of tweezers just to slide that in and then clip the clip down and now we're just going back through and replacing all of the screws that we took out to put the switch back to the switch controller back together again which is actually really simple to do now coming up are two errors that I made uh, but I'll leave them in and you may notice the first one straight away and the second one I will bring up as we go through but the first error is about to come up now and that's just as I'm getting very excited because I've nearly finished this I screw everything back in again and I pop that back piece on and what have I missed well as you're about to see in a minute I have missed the battery I haven't put the battery into the switch uh, controller uh, so as I put this all together I um, get all of the pieces back on and then immediately realize I've got one piece left over which is the actual battery so I undo these parts again we undo the back and put the back and put the battery back in and I'm also putting the original switch case back on as well so actually there is a new back piece on so when I show you the control in a minute you'll see that I replaced that as well but there we go it's done and there you saw me go through building and modding up the pro controller looks absolutely fantastic i'll show you the mistake i made which i made i made reference to not only did i forget to put the battery in which i fixed but also the back piece as well so instead of being that see-through uh, plastic from the original pro controller it actually comes with the gray for the super nintendo but yeah i think you'll agree that looks really freaking cool right i really really like how that looks and it feels great in the hand the plastic is super good quality um, i actually quite like the feel of it so i think i prefer it to the original skin that was on the original controller but yeah really happy and of course the dock as well so uh there we go that's the finished dock look and you can see i mean this was pretty easy to do uh, more involved than i thought i've got to be honest i thought it would literally be a plastic frontage um i didn't realize you'd have to you know take apart the entire switch uh, um, deck but um dock even get me words straight uh but yeah i really like the way it looked and it wasn't that difficult to do again the worst part is that sort of feeding back through the power cable and the data cable and the worst part about doing this one was the buttons uh but Suddenly, because I didn't lay them out properly, and you always learn stuff when you do these things. How you might do it better in the future, actually, how you might have little cups to pop things back in certain places or lay them out as they're going to go back in, just to speed up the process. But ultimately, I want to show everybody that anyone can do this stuff. I'm no expert, and even I got through it and did it. And even when I had mistakes, they weren't mistakes that I couldn't go back and fix. Extreme rate supply everything in the box, so not only do you get the actual bits and pieces to do the mod itself. You get a completely new set of screws if you want to use them. You get the screwdrivers if, if you haven't got a fine bit screwdriver or precision screwdriver set. They give you those screwdrivers and they work just fine. For me personally, I like something with a bit slightly bigger handle. Um, but uh, I, as you saw in the video, I used them most of the time and got on with them just fine. And uh, yeah, super quite. And also their website. Their website is fantastic. I used it every time. I had it up on the screen whilst I was going through it. I was able to jump back and forwards, see how they actually did the change and followed it through pretty much. So yeah, whilst my video, don't use it as a complete and utter guide, just use it as a speed through the process. Um, but actually, I think it's quite intuitive anyway. But their website, which I'll link below, has got all the video guides you need to be able to do this stuff yourself so yeah i now have a fully super nintendo up um switch uh and I'm, I'm just well chuffed with it i think it's fantastic it's gonna look great when it's on display hooked up to the telly and everything and uh yes there we go so i'm gonna leave you a little bit of outro now of the device and i'll put some other side by side shots with the super nintendo and other bits and pieces so you can see it all together but yeah really really happy so i'll speak to you soon on the next video okay cheers all bye bye